Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about scanner class in Java. I'm going to talk about it first and then I'm going to write a program and show you guys how the execution takes place and how you should uh, use it in real life. So scanner class is nothing but it is used to accept user input. You guys have basically seen whenever someone is someone is writing a program in to just add a number what they will do is they will initialize them they will declare the value of those two variables and then they will directly add it but scanner class why it is important is because scanner class it will allow user to add the user input that means once you are running your program it will only ask you to enter the variable one value then you will enter maybe five then it will ask you enter other value then you may be entering six and then it will give you a result so your scanner class it basically allows user to add the input to the program and to get the output so that is why scanner class comes into the picture guys uh, whenever you guys are attending any interview this is one of the basic question which anyone in interview if you are applying for a role of automation engineer they may ask you if you are a fresher basically to write the addition of two digit number so in that case i have seen most of the people what they do is they follow the old method which is very which, which is very old method so you, you, i want you guys to come out of it and uh, write the addition of two digit number or subtraction of two digit number or multiplication any all, all basics program i want you guys to start writing using scanner class that means if i'm if i'm asking someone to write a program to find the square root of a number it should ask me to enter some input and based on that it should give me a result your program should be well well enough to accept any input i give it should your program should not be based on what input you are writing while writing a program now you have written a program to find the square root of a number now it should ask a user to enter a digit let's say if i'm entering 6 it should give me a result like what is this actually square root of that number if i'm entering 13 it should give me if i'm adding 999 it should give me based on the user input it should give so that is why scanner class has come into the picture and that is why it is most important and most basic topic in java let's get started so guys next time if anyone is talking about java user input you should think about scanner class and if someone is asking you to write any program regarding to scanner class you should think about user input java user input so now i will tell you guys how we have to make it work so whenever you are writing any program with respect to scanner class what you need to do is you need to create an object of scanner class and then now in scanner class we have a lot of predefined methods which can accept your byte data your float data your integer data your long data all those methods we have all those methods i'm going to show you while executing a program so now i'm executing a program to show you guys how it generally works guys so see if you see this program which i have already written for you guys the aim of writing this program is to find the addition of two digit number which is my a and b and i will be storing my a and b value addition in my sum and that is the reason i have assigned it as an integer now i am creating an object for my scanner class the reason i have written system.in is because it will it will be going to store some user input so that is the reason i have written that and now using this reference variable of my scanner class i need to write a method next integer so guys, this is a predefined method in the scanner class next integer will accept your integer value so that integer value i'm storing it in a a is already predefined as integer that is why it is it is accepting it and now it will ask you enter second uh, number now using reference variable of sc i am accepting one more integer and, and i am storing it in b now i'm closing my scanner class like i'm telling like whatever the value i wanted to accept that is over now so i'm closing it and now sum is equal to a and b and then i'm printing the sum value so this is very 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 simple program but i'm sure most of the guys who are watching this video 
you guys will not be writing an addition of number in such a way see if see guys if i run this program if i just run this program if i just open my console it will ask me enter first number so i will add 725 it will ask me enter second number i have to write any number i want 50 it will give me the sum of the two number that is 775 so this is this is what i mean if you are applying for a position of automation engineer and if anyone is asking you to write any program very basic program like addition of a number subtraction of a number multiplication of any number or uh, finding the square root of a number or finding the square of a number uh, finding the like all those basic program you can work out using this simple technique so this is the notes which i have written this will be enough for you for you guys for learning purpose and then i have written all the methods and with its description if you see here i have written next.int so next.int method is used only to accept integer number but what what about if i have to accept a double number that time instead of next.int you need to use next.double like what about if you have to use some long value so in that case instead of next.int you need to use next.long so and in case if you have to use some string value that time instead of next.int you need to use next.line so i hope this was useful in case you have any doubt list out all your doubt in the comment section i will be clearing all your doubt i will be storing my program in the link description you guys can check it out and, and execute it in your system in case you think this video was useful please share this video with your friends share this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt thank you